in 2009, Jenna um, began having some back pains and eventually it was determined through a um, CAT scan that she had a tumor that was wrapped around her uh, back of her rib cage and a couple of her ribs. So I started treatment for that. Um, basically it was about a year of chemotherapy and some radiation, surgery to remove tumors, that kind of thing. Because of that cancer, I received a huge number of transfusions, truly. The main symptoms that would bring me in for uh, needing a transfusion would be shortness of breath and feeling like you just can't make it up the stairs or feeling a little lightheaded when you stand up or just not feeling like you're getting enough when you breathe. They are not able to do their day-to-day -day activity. They are tired. They are most of the time in the bed. They are weak. Some of them can come with chest pain, difficulty breathing, so it has a huge impact on their quality of life. It's like refilling the fuel tank in your car because then you have a little more energy to do the things that you would normally have planned on doing. And for me, that meant a few days for recovery before I went back into chemo. The blood is as big as the treatment as any chemotherapy or radiation. Uh, it is saving lives. You know, every time you receive a blood component, there is a little sheet that's read with a donor number. And I hear that number and I think, Thank you, every time. <laughs> it represents a person, it represents their time, it represents their energy, and it's so meaningful. Every day, you know, I rely on the hundreds of people who have come to donate and, and support me. The only thing Jenna wanted from folks when they'd offer ask, what can we do, what can we do, her request was that would people go and donate blood at their local blood bank. And it wasn't necessarily for her, but for anybody who needed it. That was the one thing. It's like anybody who's willing and able, that's what I want you to do because that's energy that you're putting towards the mission. I graduate in May, so I'm really excited about that. I also have, you know, visions of working in nursing culture and making sure that patient experience is really a positive one. It's like a hack of an education when you've got both the classes and the theory and the clinicals and everything that you would do as part of the nursing training, but then you also experience it from the patient perspective. So you kind of get this really well-rounded view, even though it's not the way that you'd normally want to get your degree. <laughs> Jenna's a very special person. She's very bright, she's intuitive, she's very caring and empathetic, and I just all along have thought, her job's not done yet. It can't be done yet. She has too much to offer. I so appreciate the people for their selfless donation because they are giving the gift of life. Jenna wouldn't be with us today if it weren't for all of the folks who've helped us along this journey. They are angels, actually, you know, because they are donating something which is making a significant impact on patients who need transfusions. It could be somebody in your family. It could be your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad, whoever. You know, you just don't know who you are helping. It is a gift of life. It will keep people alive. <laughs>